So then gang, in this video, I want to focus on displaying a bit of user information in the account pop-up if we're logged in. So if we're logged in, remember, we have access to that user token, right? That is returned to us every time that we either sign in or log in. So just to remind ourselves, let's log that down here. So every time there's an auth state change, if we log in or we log out, let's console.log that user, right? So save that. Now to begin with, we should see that user over here because we're logged in. So let's go to the console and we can see it right here. So on this object, and a lot of this looks random letters and stuff like that, and most of it we don't need, but we can see this email address right here. So we have access to this data, right? So what we could do is we could take that data and we could display it right here to say, look, you're logged in as this person, this email. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, if we're logged out, then obviously the thing logged to the console, oops, if I just refresh, is gonna be null, right? Because now that user doesn't exist. So what we wanna do is when we're outputting the menu or the UI elements, we wanna check if that user exists. And if it does, what we'll do inside the account pop-up, if we log in, let me just log in as mario at the net ninja.co.uk and test one, two, three, four. Inside that account pop-up, we wanna output the email. So the user, then the email property. Okay, so we don't need this log anymore. Instead, we call this setup UI and we pass that user in. So in that setup UI, let's have a look. Currently, we're checking if the user exists or not, and we're showing these different links. So we already have this check to see if the user exists. If it does exist, what we wanna do now is output the account information. So first of all, let's get a reference to the account pop-up. So if we head on over to this thing and look for the account modal right here, we can see that we have this account details class right here. That's where we're gonna output the information. So let's make a reference to that at the top. We'll say const and then account details is equal to documents.query selector. And this is gonna be the dot account details class. Okay, cool. So we have that now. Now we want to show the information inside here if there is a user. So a little comment saying account info and we'll say const HTML is equal to, and it's gonna be a template string, remember the back ticks, so below your escape key, uh, more than likely. And this is just gonna be a simple line. So we'll do a div, and then inside we'll just say logged in as, and then remember to output data, we do dollar sign curly braces, we take the user that's passed into us right here, and then we get the email property from that. So we're saying we're logged in as whoever we are currently logged in as. So let's close that div off. And that's pretty much it for creating the HTML. Now we just need to append this HTML to this reference right here. So let's now say account details dot inner HTML is equal to the HTML that we created right here. So this string. So now we're outputting that to the DOM. Now. We also need to remove this if they log out because we don't want anything to remain there that shouldn't be there or get any errors. So if they're not logged in, let's hide account info. So again, we need the account details and the inner HTML. So we'll copy that. Only this time we'll set it equal to an empty string. So we're removing anything when they log out, okay? So then save that and let's preview this in a browser. So if we go to account, we can see now logged in as Mario at the Net Ninja. okay? Now, if we log out, fair enough, we can't see it, and we do get an error right here. Um, it's just the insufficient permissions thing, and that is on the snapshot over here. If we take a look at this, because we don't have sufficient permissions to access the data when we're logged out, we're getting that error. We could catch that there if we wanted to like this, catch the error, and do something with it like console.log the error, oops, in brackets dot message right and then we shouldn't get that error anymore so let's save that so anyway uh, we're logged out but if we try to now view the account pop-up so it's right there or rather we need to go to the nav and find the link for the account pop-up so inside here and it's one of these this is the one so if we make that display block cross this off if we go to account now now we can see it's emptied because we're logged out 
Okay, so there we go, my friends. That's how we can access data from the user. We take the user object and we can access the email via user.email and we're outputting it to the DOM.